steel, and aluminum. Those are your two choices when building fences and railings, but how do you know which one is the best one to use in your situation? There's a lot more that goes into it other than just price and weight. And today we're gonna go over a few key points on how we choose when to use which one and where. Now there's three things people always consider when comparing steel and aluminum. One is the price, two is the weight, and third is the process and consumables needed to weld each one of these. And while those three things are important to consider when choosing a material, the number one thing that I say you should be concerned about, where is this thing gonna go? What is the constant wear and tear daily gonna be on this railing and fence? Let's compare the two in harsh, snowy, freezing type environments, places that get freezing temperatures for extended amounts of time. Steel is actually gonna be not as good as aluminum. Now why? Because steel in freezing cold temperatures actually starts to lose its strength. It becomes brittle and rigid, and it doesn't have any sort of give to it that it would normally have. Now the funny thing is, is aluminum actually does the opposite. In freezing temperatures, aluminum actually gets stronger and actually has more give to it. One common misstep is when people choose to use aluminum over steel because of the fact that it doesn't rust. Well, yes, that is true. Aluminum doesn't rust. Now, the problem lies, again, in its location. Now, if you're using aluminum railings and fencing all along coastal lines, you know, where it's warmer, the climate is, is humid, and there's a ton of seawater and salt in the air, this can actually cause the aluminum to begin to corrode. What causes the aluminum to really break down is well, when you're using aluminum, you still have some steel type components when you're putting these together usually. It could be bolts, screws, any kind of hardware that you would use. That combination of the two metals coming together is actually what makes the aluminum start to corrode in this warmer salt air type environment. So that's it for this one. Just wanted to share a few of the things that we uh, consider and think about before starting a project on whether or not we should use aluminum versus steel. Should we mix the two? Hey, and on that note, if you want to experiment with using some aluminum decorative components in your next project, go to kingmetals.com. Just search under the aluminum components. You'll see there's a ton of different stuff to use. And if you do that, send us some pictures of your projects. Go to the Facebook page and just post some pictures. We'd love to see how you're using these different components. It's always exciting to see the creativity that people have when, when mixing this stuff together. All right, so that's it for this one, guys. See you next time.